I just found more Shatsian components but for animations and it is completely open source. Now don't get me wrong, Shatsian is an amazing component library. As you probably know, I'm a huge fan. But the default styling that it comes with doesn't necessarily include any animations. What if we want to add animations to our projects, which a lot of us do to add that additional oomph to our site, but Shatsian doesn't include that. However, there's this library called as React Bits that is incredible because you get React components for creative developers, because you get highly customizable animated components that make your React projects truly stand out. So for example, if you take a look at browse components, we have text, different text animations, but we also get different custom animations, which are probably more common that we use in our projects. Or you also get different components out of the box that we'll walk through, and also backgrounds that you could utilize to make your site look really awesome. For example, let's take a look at the text. If we refresh it, every specific example includes this nice little demo. You can modify the different props for your components, but also look at the code to see exactly how to get started. Let me walk you through a few components. Some of the really cool components are gradient text. For example, you can see this flash of color, which is animated. Now, if you might be wondering, well, I have AI now, why the hell would I use additional library and add load to it, I can just create whatever I want. And you are completely right, you can totally do that. However, if there is a library dedicated for animations that have done all the hard work for you, then why reinvent the wheel? So moving on, let's take a look at other examples such as scroll velocity and so on. Now these are some of the text animations. If we go to the scroll to the bottom, we have animations for let's say fade content and you can see this specific content has been faded or let's say pixel trail and you can already see how it's pixelating automatically. It might seem like it's way easier to create. However, it's, it is incredibly difficult to create performant animated components. So this is pretty awesome. And we also can get ribbons as well. But this doesn't need to be ribbon, right? It could be whatever else you want. Or we have crosshair as well. So you could use that for gaming and so on too. And this actually extends to the entire side, which is pretty cool. But we also get different components that we could use as well. For example, scroll stack. Now this is one of my favorite because to get the specific effect in JavaScript or in React can be incredibly difficult. However, it already has the stacking done for us. We have magic bento as well. So you can see the different cards and so on. And one of my favorites was this pixel card, which gives you a really cool effect as you hover. This specific library would be amazing if you're building marketing sites or if you want to, you know, improve the overall design and look and feel of your portfolio projects. You want to stand out in your resume. You want to stand out compared to other developers when you're looking for jobs and so on. So all this truly helps you come across as a more senior engineer because you know exactly what you're doing. If we take a look, you have this infinite scroll component, which is incredible because as you can see, you could literally drag and to, you, to utilize this, you may need another additional library, but React Bits already does that for us. Now, one last thing before we move on to the code is the backgrounds. Now, backgrounds are incredible. Now, take a look at Pixel Blast. Now, you could just use this background in your hero section or in your portfolio and automatically stand out. Honestly, like if you add a really good background to anything, then it makes your website really stand out as well. Alrighty, so now enough of looking at the demo. Let's take a look at how we could install it. So first of all, this project is completely open source, which is amazing. It is not a typical component library, which means you won't find a set of generic buttons, inputs, or other common elements. These components are there to help you stand out and make a statement visually by adding a touch of creativity to your projects. Now, I'm not sure about you, a lot of developers struggle with adding creativity to their projects. And all of them these days, especially with AI, end up looking like the cookie cutter AI templates and AI landing pages, which honestly are going to just get people to scroll because they're just think, oh, this is just, you know, AI generating it. The, the developer hasn't added anything of their own, any creativity of their own. Again, you own the code, which is again, the same Shatsian model as well. It's completely free to use in any projects. You could modify it because you own the code as well. As well as you can easily customize it to thoughtfully exposed props. You can install strictly what you need because it's not a dependency. 
again, like ChatCN, if you want a button from ChatCN, you only install a button. For example, if you go to, let's say, Accordium, then if you take a look at the code, this is the entire code that you would get. But if when you install ChatCN Accordion, that's all you're going to get. You're not going to get anything else. It's the same philosophy that the app that is using as well. And you could either use JavaScript, JavaScript, plain CSS, or Dylan. The code is all here, which is amazing. So if you take a look at installation, then there are two options. You can go manual by installing the dependencies. Now, internally, it does use a library called as GSAP, which is again used for animations. Even though internally it's using GSAP, we can just leverage what React Bits has created. And then again, copy the code and so and use the components. But the one that I'm really interested in is the CLI. And this is where the chat C and industry comes in play. If you need a component, all you need to do is npx chat C and latest add and add the component itself. For example, the language you want and the style you want to. So the language, if you want, let's say TypeScript, CSS, you just do split text hyphen ds hyphen CSS or ds hyphen dw and so on. You would also get a JS repo if you want. But I'm just going to stick to ShatCN here. Now, in order for you to install React Bits, this is what we are going to do. So, if you take a look at the code, this is exactly what you need. And if you see, we get JS hyphen CSS, TypeScript versus Tailwind or whatever we want. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to copy this, head over to our terminal. I've created a simple create next project. Here, we're just going to paste what we copied. And now this is going to install a JavaScript version and a CSS version. So what we could do is we want PS and Tailwind. So that's all we need. Now it's going to proceed and install ShatCN because I don't have that in my project, which is what most, most of you would have as well. So let's go with the default for now. And there we go. So it started. So now if we go back here and go to localhost 3000, this is a simple create next app project. You can see ShatCN is installed with this specific split text component. And we could now easily just tweak and modify. If you want to take a look at the usage of it, for example, let's copy that. Head over to our home, which is page.tsx, and let's just get rid of all of this because we really don't need it. Let's add a hello world div and save it. And now this is where we could just add it. So let's copy this split text and let's move it in here. Import should come to the top and Let's fix that import as well. Let's remove this unused import. That's it. That's all we need. When you refresh the page, now a lot of these components are going to be client components because they, they use React Lifecycle hooks most likely to animate it. So what we need to do here is go to split packs and on top here, let's just add use client director. And now if we take a look here, let's also convert this into a client component. Now. You can see hello GSAP has in fact been created here. But now let's say I don't want to make my page a client component to fix this error. Let's save it. Let's exactly see what it's trying to do. Here it's saying event handlers cannot be passed to client component props. If you need interactivity, consider converting part of this to a client component. And this is, this is an example you will encounter as well. This is a handler. The handler is obviously need client interactivity. So you would definitely need to extract this into a separate component. Maybe let's call this split text wrapper dot TSX. And now let's just copy this whole thing, add it in here. And this is where we could just add the use client directive. And the page itself would just get split text wrapper. This way, the rest of your content, and let's remove this too. This way, the rest of your content can stay as is. So here we could just change this to split text wrapper. And now if we head back, there we go. We already have hello GSAP here. But now let's have some fun. Let's just change this text and see exactly how that works. So if we head back to the code, we have the split text wrapper component that takes in a bunch of properties. And over here we have hello GSAP text, which is exactly what's displayed in the browser. So now I'm gonna just say, let's be a little cheeky and say, subscribe to my channel. There we go. And now 
If I refresh the page, there we go. Subscribe to my channel. Text appears on the page. But there's more to it, right? There are so many different props that you could modify to exactly tweak and get the exact animation that you're looking for. So that's it. That's exactly how things work with React Bits. You could customize as many animations as you want. It has a plethora of options that you could do. Now, if you like this video, then definitely check out this other video on what's that one line that helped me fix my slow Next.js application. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Before you go, I just have one question. Which animations from React Bits library you would actually use? Comment below and let me know. All right, I'll see you in the next one.